course, you did not misread that. A TMO, Major League Rugby, has made that a priority this year on every match day site. Seawolves get us underway. The blue and white stripes belong to the visitors from north of the border as Seattle able to recover the opening boot. Good defense, though, there by Toronto. Can to be harder this time. No, no, no. About two meters out. Can the Arrows defensively return the favor? Landry taking on multiple men. Initially looking for an opportunity north and south. No such luck. Now to Malcolm. Seattle knocking on the door, looking for that final surge. Mike Lash, our referee, in position. Short, short. Oh, last foot, white, last foot. Could not dot it down, but it remains with Seattle. Freed up. Leans forward. Seawolves with the first try of 2022. Another look. Well, the ball comes out. Nako Penny brings it out and just it's so hard to defend when you're right there. And the flags are up, conversion's good. But remember that first year Toronto played its entire road schedule before they ever had a home date in MLR. To this date, they've only played five matches at home the way the pandemic and it, some other no, factors no, have worked their way in. Heck, their first time back in Canada the next weekend will be on the West Coast, British Columbia, against the Giltinis. Yeah, I mean, I think playing in front of a crowd, um, you know, there's a lot of Canadians here to support them. They are Canada's team, and so it's good to see them, and we're looking forward to seeing Toronto play at home later on in the season. But they're going to have to do something to solve this defense of Seattle that's come out very hard, very physical, and hasn't really give them, given, them a, given them a lot. Kyle Bailey. They'll give way back to the captain, Shepard. Kelly, a misconnection, but able to pounce on it, Miras. Arrows again, trying to answer the try, conceded a moment ago. Two meters away. Jones, final connection, dials up Mitchell Richardson. And there's your answer from Toronto. One more look. Yeah, a little messy coming in. Rumble cleans it up. Good drive. And that drive is what puts it back. You can see there's already space here on the short side. And it's the beautiful skip pass from Brody to Tufaga. No try. Short. Half time. You heard the voice of our TMO, Shanda Asmus, followed by the decisive voice of our referee, Mike Lash. No try as our score will rest at 13 to 8 here at the midway break. You have to wonder, Lincoln, how long Toronto, being the smaller pack, can match that physicality of Seattle. So they need to get some points on the board before they get to that last 20 minutes. It's a Seattle side up right now on the scoreboard. They have five men making their MLR debut today. And a great turnover. Great opportunity right here. Toronto's led the, or pardon me, has trailed the entire way essentially since the opening kick from Seattle. Um, the Sabercats down there with, with an agreement with Seattle led him to continue to train with Rugby HTX, but was not able to play much for Seattle last year, so great to see him back. And a line out for Malcolm in the Arrows. Toronto still looking for its first points since the opening half. Rumble. Seven meters out. Now to Foliva. Brody with some new faces to feed this to. A tad tall and a breakaway opportunity for Seattle. You hear the roar as Ross Neal takes it wire to wire for the try. Well, we've seen 
Ross Neal break in from the outside. We've seen Martin Yusefro break in from the outside. It's how they have been covering the width. They haven't been drifting. It's a heartbreaker for Toronto because they worked so hard to get there. Will Kelly takes that really too ambitious to get the ball out there. And Ross Neal, I mean, this guy can move at 6'5". Yeah, too tall for the intended arrow, but not too tall for the six foot five British wing, Ross Neal. Spencer Jones not quite able to get there. Seattle contests it, able to scoop it up. Can they put this one away? The punctuation for the Seahawks, the final whistle at Starfire.